Where are we? We're in El Barbero, Calle Loiza, San Juan, Puerto Rico. Why don't you show us around then? Let's do it, man. Let's start with the chair you're sitting on, because that's kind of interesting. Well, we found this chair in, in pieces in an old antique shop. They didn't even know what they had um, from 1898. And we restored it with my father a little bit. Um, we tried to preserve the inside of the, of the barber chair, it's still the actual original wood. So the bones of it are, are original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. You got some other chairs here, and you, you got all the... Uh... We have got um, them a few over the years. Um, some clients have brought, it, brought them in or recommended it places that we can get them. This one was over from Utual. Um, supposedly one of the old school governors of the island also had haircuts over there in Utual, um, over in the 40s, 50s. Wow. Um, but these two, I found this, I found it over in Coupe, and over here I found that in, in the mountains in Guaynabo. So where did you get the idea? I mean, why did you want to do a, a, a bar that is... Well, you know, I always lived during, like, um, nearby, like two blocks away. I always felt that this neighborhood lacked a little bit of nightlife, since it was more, uh, it had more movement during the day. Um, I saw this place, this was actually a beauty salon for 33 years, slash barbershop. It was abandoned for maybe like 10 years, and I saw the opportunity to get the space. I wanted to create a bar, because I wanted, there, there wasn't that much of a cocktail scene here in Puerto Rico, and I like cocktails myself. Um, so I, when I was looking a name for the bar, um, I remembered that there were barbers here and beauticians, so I wanted to pay a little bit of a tribute to something that lasted so long in the area. It, so do you, do you feel the spirits of the old barbers uh, coming up behind you to catch They drink head? with us at night, man. They, oh. they come here and we can see some, some bottles turned oh, no. at night. So they're definitely here. They can definitely feel the good vibe here, I can, I can assure you. So what, I mean, you got the customers in here, do you ever find them drinking and, and talking, to a, 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 you know, <laughs> talking to somebody that's After not there? After maybe like five cocktails, yeah, you, you will be talking a little bit more than you would want, so yeah. And then you got some really cool old games and stuff. Yeah, I'll take you to it. I mean, is this the secret, uh, the secret room or do people know <laughs> it's back here? Over here, we have like an old school gambling betting table. Um, it's from 1950. It's completely hand carved, one piece wood. Some very few artisans know this type of technique. It's, a, it's an honor for us to have this. How old did you say this was? This is from 1950. So people normally can come, place a few friendly bets, but you, not necessarily you, with money. Does it still work? Or does oh it, yeah, yeah, it definitely works. Yeah. So I think it's right, right now we have it stationary, so. Do you have artisans in, in Puerto Rico that still make them? Yeah, but obviously the, the, the most important ones have passed away yeah. and, but, they're trying to keep that tradition alive, definitely. Yeah. Quite a few. It's, that's good. That's nice. And it's good that you have it here, try to kind of share it a little. Yeah, normally my generation doesn't know that much about... They're more into Nintendo. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm into it too though, but <laughs> I like to have that old school... A little balance well. in there. Yeah. Yeah. People come in here, um, do, do you find them come in here because of the bar, but uh, kind of theme here or... Yeah, um, at first it was very curious to, like when Facebook started, a lot of girls would, would check in on places that, okay, I'm, tonight I'm at this bar, I'm, tonight I'm in this place. And they checked in and they would say, I'm in El Barbero. Everybody would say, why is somebody checking in on a barbershop at 1 a.m.? Um, so it caused a lot of curiosity among people and no, like nobody ever sits on 30s, 20s barber's chairs. So it's, a, it's like a very interesting way to spend the night, you know? Nice. A little bit of history, a little bit of cocktail history as well. Something to talk about in the morning. Exactly. Yeah. So you have how many drinks 
you said you created the recipes and stuff? Yeah, yourself? I've created maybe like 85% of the menu. Um, over the years, we have, our crew have also um, made some great cocktails that are still here. Nice. Um, but we have more than 60 cocktails. We try to make it unique, but at the same time, not that expensive either. We don't like to have this pretentious vibe also. It's very affordable for everybody. We have, we cater to everybody here. It's not necessarily just people like, that like to go to nightclubs. Everybody can come here, even your grandfather or, or the ones that just graduated from uh, you know, university, you know. Are you gonna show me one of your specialty drinks? Well, he's down? gonna, Fernando is the one that's oh, gonna Fernando's make the, us this cocktail that is very special for us. Um, rum del Barrilito is my favorite rum. It's Puerto Rico's oldest rum, actually. And we have the pleasure of having um, the actual wood chips from their aging barrels. Barrilito gave us a barrel and dedicated it to us so we can do this cocktail over here. We're the only us and over there in the, in the rum factories where you can get this. He's smoking it right now with the actual wood chips, a little bit of star anise and um, cinnamon. So those blocks of wood are actually part of the barrel, but we also have those little wood chips as well. So right now he's smoking the, uh, smoking the, the cocktail glass. We add a little bit of that ice, and now all that ice is gonna catch all that smoke and like suck it inside. Um, we add a little bit of like mole bitters as well to make it a little bit unique. A little bit of Demerara homemade syrup. And we grate a little bit of uh, raw cacao, 100% raw cacao from the island. So it's not that sweet. Uh, uh, it gives it a little bit of balance, definitely. We also flame an orange peel on top to give it that, that zestiness that it needs. But it's Puerto Rico's oldest rum. It's made with um, sherry oak casks. So it's very special. So this is one of how many recipes did you see? More than 60, definitely. Man, how long does it take to learn <laughs> all of those recipes? I can say that um, a lot of hangovers, definitely. <laughs> try, try, trying them out. Um, but we maybe we, we try them like maybe like two to the three, third take, we have it down. But yeah, it's, it's been over the years. We've been here almost 11 years, so. We've tried to remove a lot of the cocktails from the menu to try to bring in new ones, but people won't let us. They just like them so much. So we just keep on the menu and keep on just adding them. That plain orange peel on top will definitely give that aroma that you're looking for. Great, that raw cacao. Salud. Till next time we're in Puerto Rico. Yeah, man. In Hopefully San Juan. so. Uh, what was it? Salud. 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 Thank you.